Hello and God bless you. Well, my name is Reverend Samuel again, and um, what a pleasure to always come your way every week and bring your way that which you have called the weak world. Last week, we talked about how to use your senses to seize to decode opportunities, the use of your senses to decode opportunities. Reason is by, is because this month of May, we've been talking about opportunities. So our focus for the month of May is opportunities. How do I identify opportunities? How do I seize opportunities? How do I take advantage of opportunities? How do I make sure that I do not miss my opportunities? And why not? This is the 20th video, that means this year, 2020, is already at the 20th week of the year. How awesome. Now, our scripture has been Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. And you know it. As long as you have power, as long as you have opportunity, I should say, he said, do good to all men, especially those that have the household of faith. Meaning that opportunity will only exist as long as you have them. But question is, do you know that you already have them? Do you know that you already have them? Because the best time to take advantage of opportunity is God in the is lifetime good. of that opportunity. Let me read a complimentary scripture for today. It's Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. Listen to this. It says, but solid food belongs to those who are of age. That is, <laughs> who are those that are of age? It defines them as those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. You, you exercise your senses. I'm talking about the place of God sensibility in seizing opportunity. Have you asked yourself, how can I exercise my senses so that it helps God me to good. discern? Help me to discern God whether this is good. Helps me to discern whether this is evil. Helps me to discern whether this is a good opportunity. Helps me to discern whether this is a trap. How do I exercise my senses? Because if you don't have common so, if you don't have common sense, you will not be able to discern what is good from what is bad. And you cannot also be able to discern opportunities when they come your way. How do I develop common sense? It, the, where we read said, by reasoning. You develop common sense by reasoning. You have to learn how to talk to yourself. Sometimes people get common sense by sensible people talking to them. That's the gift of a mother. That's the gift of a brother. That's the gift of a father. That's the gift of a sister. That's the gift of, of an uncle or an auntie. That's the gift of friends. Sensible people reason with you. One of the ways to reason is to reason with sensible people. They will tell you, hmm, this is what I think about what you want to do. Why don't you do it this way? Why don't you consider it? Having said all that I say, what would I suggest? What would I recommend? How do I train my senses to pick good from evil? Never make a decision without consultation. That would be my recommendation. Never make a decision without consultation. Never. You must have people in your life that you can confide in. You must have people in your life that you should seek their advice. You must have people with more experience. People that have made mistakes. Listen, when you hang around someone who has made a lot of mistakes, you can learn wisdom. And those who came before you to this journey of life, they have made some mistakes that they can teach you from their mistakes. Always consult before you conclude. Always consult before you conclude. Don't just go and conclude and say, no, I can't marry him. No, I can't marry her. Consult some other opinions. And when you do that, what are you doing? You are training your senses to reason. And by the time you have trained your senses to reason, you are able to decode 
between good and evil. You can know what to go for and what not to go for. You are able to reduce your chances of making mistakes. Well, enough said for this week. I want you to regurgitate all that we have said this week. Ponder upon them and let them influence your next decision. Until I see you next week, continue to live in the love zone of God. I love you and happy new week. See you again next week and thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.